Good morning. Welcome to the Farmer Veteran Coalition's Fellowship Fund webinar. My name is Rachel Pettit. I'm the Fellowship Fund Manager at FEC. I'm going to spend a few minutes going over the fellowship application, filling out the form and showing you the fields, and then we'll take questions at the end of the webinar. On your screen you see farmvetco.org. This is our website where you can find the application. When you get to farmvetco.org, look at the top for the red tab that says fellowship and click that. That will take you to a page with a lot of information about the fellowship program. Feel free to read through that. It also has the eligibility requirements listed on the page and a little bit about the application process. It will tell you what documents are required and a thank you to our funders that support this program. Once you've read through that, scroll back to the top of the page and find this link. Click that link and a new window will open. This is the actual fellowship application. You can read through this. Again, it's the eligibility requirements and a little bit about the documents that you're going to need to have available when you're filling out this form. At the top, you'll notice that there is a way to save your progress um, and resume the form later. If you would like to come back and work on the application at another time, click that. So let's get started. Click next page at the bottom. You'll be taken to the first page of the application. We're going to fill this out as an example so that you can see how to move through this form. You'll be asked for your basic information. I'm entering the Farmer Veteran Coalition's office address. Also note when there's a date field, you must enter the date in this format, month, month, slash, day, day, slash, four digit year. Be sure to enter an email address that you have ready access to. This will be our way to communicate with you about your application. If you've been convicted of a felony, that doesn't disqualify you, but you'll be given a chance to explain the circumstances. All of the fields with a red asterisk are required fields. You must enter data in order to move through the application. If you're still serving, you can leave this blank. You must upload a document in each of the places that it asks for a document that have a red asterisk. Here you are going to upload your proof of service. That could be a DD-214 or a letter of support from your command. If you want to upload your VA rating document, you can do that, but that is not a required field. This section will ask about deployments and then your military experience. So please take some time to write a couple of sentences here about your military service. And uploading a resume is optional. Now we're moving on to the agriculture questions. If your farm has a website or a Facebook page, be sure to put a link for that here. This question is asking about your 2016 annual sales total. 
If you did not have any sales from your farm business in 2016, that is okay. That does not disqualify you. Just enter zero. Here you'll upload your farm's business plan. That is a requirement. You must have a business plan. It can be a simple or a complex one, whatever meets the needs of your business. This question is asking you to describe your farm. You're going to spend a few sentences discussing what type of farm business you have in operation. And this will ask more details about how the farm is being financed. Do you have an off-farm job or does your partner have off-farm income? Did you take out a loan or a micro loan? Um, any other revenue that you have. This will ask what products are being grown. You can check all that apply. Your production methods and the number of acres that you have. Whether you own or lease. Then take a moment to describe what infra infrastructure you have, uh, how much land, uh, what structures you have on the land, what equipment do you own, your animals, um, irrigation systems, wells. If you have a tractor, tell us a little bit about it, and if not, Tell us what kind of tractor you need for your operation. Discuss your soil and irrigation. And here, discuss your markets. Where do you sell your products? Are you uh, selling them wholesale or direct to consumers, both? This is acknowledging that you've read the eligibility requirements and that you qualify for this program. The next section is uh, relating specifically to the fellowship. If you've received a fellowship in the past, you are allowed to apply again. We just want to track whether you have or have not received a fellowship in the past. Here you can describe your training in agriculture, if you grew up on a farm or if you worked on a farm as an adult, if you've taken any classes or gotten a certificate, if you did an apprenticeship, or any other skills that would be helpful on a farm, like construction, mechanics, plumbing, things that you learned in the military, all of that can be described here. Tell us about your goals for your farm in the next 12 months, and then in the next three to five years. If you were given a fellowship, how would it impact your farm? How would it advance these goals that you've described previously? Keep in mind that fellowships are capped at a maximum of $5,000. They're often between three dollars and $5,000. So be sure to request a piece of equipment that falls within that range. If the item you're requesting is more than $5,000, how are you going to cover that balance? And the last section of the application are three short essay questions. You can answer them in one page or up to three pages. Please don't spend more than three pages answering these. You'll write your answers in a Word document on your own computer, all three questions on one document and then you will upload that document here. It can be a Word document or a PDF. Be sure to type them on your computer and save often so you don't lose any data. Also, you can upload a reference letter. It is a requirement that can be personal or professional from a colleague from the military or a neighbor, uh, someone that knows you and knows your work ethic and your goals with your farm. Next, you'll hit Submit. The 
internet connection is a little slow, so just pause. Don't click anything. Don't click back. Just let it work on submitting your application. It will take you to this page to review your responses and confirm the information. You have not finished submitting the application yet. Just scroll down and make sure that you said what you meant to say. Everything is filled out correctly. Double check the email address. If all of that looks good to you, hit confirm at the bottom. You'll be taken to this page. This is the confirmation that you know your application has been submitted. All right, we'll move on to the questions. We're going to go over some frequently asked questions and I'll answer them. One of the most common questions we get is, if you've received a fellowship in a previous year, can you reapply? At this point for the 2017 fellowship, past recipients can reapply. That rule may change in the coming years depending on how competitive the program becomes. Will you be notified even if you are not awarded a fellowship? The answer is yes, you'll be notified whether or not you receive an award. Check both your email inbox and your physical mailbox. When will you be notified of award decisions? Please allow at least four weeks after the close of the application period. Our advisory council, a group of 10 volunteers, will be reviewing all of the applications and will make their decisions after that. This process takes a little bit of time. The 2017 fellowship application closes March 20th, so please allow at least four weeks after that. Is there a particular time of year you can apply for a fellowship? The fellowship application opens once a year, and it stays open for between four and six weeks. The application opening will be announced on our website and through social media. How many applications do you typically receive? Each year, the fellowship has grown significantly. In 2016, we received nearly 200 applications, and we anticipate a large increase for the 2017 year. Why are you required to have a farm already in operation? The fellowship is designed to assist people in their first few years of farming or in the process of expanding their farm. The money is used to buy equipment such as a greenhouse or an irrigation system. These purchases would not be helpful for someone who is not yet farming. Occasionally, the fellowship can be used to pay tuition for a farm training course for someone who is not yet farming. If you have questions about this requirement, please contact us. The Farmer Veteran Coalition has many services to offer people before they have begun farming. Please give our office a call if you have any questions about that requirement. Can I upload the required documents in PDF format? Yes, you can upload the documents in Word or PDF. What if I grow products other than what is listed in the currently grown section of the application, such as mushrooms or maple syrup? If you don't see your product listed in the currently grown section, please check other. We are always expanding that section as the diversity of our members' farm products increases. What if we do not have any farm income to report for the question annual farm income for the previous year? Having farm income is not a requirement. If your farm business did not see any revenue in the previous year, you can enter zero for that question. That will not reflect poorly on your application. Are basic business plans acceptable? Yes, your business plan can be simple or more complex, whatever works best for you. If you need assistance with your business plan, contact our office and we can send you some resources. What type of letter of recommendation are you looking for? The letter of recommendation can be personal or professional. Applicants often submit letters from a neighbor, a farmer mentor, a colleague from the military, etc. Does beekeeping or equine operations count as agriculture? Yes, our members have many types of agricultural businesses, ranches, fisheries, bees, mushrooms, and value-added products. 
if we have multiple projects we need funding for, can we list them in order of priority? On the application, you will see a few questions asking what piece of equipment you need on your farm, how much it costs, and how that would improve your business. You can list two or three items that you need in order of priority. Keep in mind that the maximum fellowship award is $5,000. The award is designed for smaller pieces of equipment and or animals. Please just make your request for equipment clear so that our advisory council can understand your needs. If you have any other questions that we didn't cover today, please reach out to me. You can reach me at rachel at farmvetco.org or by calling the Farmer Veteran Coalition's office in Davis, California. The phone number is 530-756-1395. Thank you for joining us today.